Armed with a budget of just over $20 billion annually, Turkey has managed to pull off a jaw-dropping feat in the realm of defence. They've successfully quelled a Kurdish insurgency, played a crucial role in the Qatar KSA UAE standoff, and backed the GNA in Libya. Additionally, they executed significant operations in Syria, tipped the scales in Azerbaijan's favour during the Nagorno-Karabakh war against Armenia, and threw substantial support behind Ukraine in its tense face-off with Russia. And if that's not enough, now they've built the world's largest army of armed drones. But how did Turkey manage to pull this off with such finesse? And what is this new army of drones capable of doing? Join us as we explore the dynamic landscape of modern warfare, where unmanned aerial technologies have become the focal point of conflicts worldwide. In this exploration, we delve into the future of warfare, starting with Turkey's new swarm of drones. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's dig deeper. Turkey has gained international attention for its remarkable achievements in the production and operational deployment of armed drones. This has established Turkey as a leading user of domestically developed armed drone technology and positioned the country as a significant exporter of such systems globally. But what makes Turkey stand out is its ability to engage in multiple operations simultaneously, showcasing impressive outcomes. Currently, there are over 700 ongoing defence projects, offering a glimpse into the future of warfare. These projects span various domains including hardware and software, encompassing defensive and offensive capabilities. So, what has Turkey been developing? Among the notable developments are the Kargu drones, fully autonomous quadcopters designed for anti-personnel and anti-armour operations. Boasting a 5km range and a 30-minute flight, a single individual can efficiently operate these drones. Battle-tested in conflict zones like Libya and potentially Nagorno-Karabakh, they exemplify Turkey's commitment to cutting-edge technology. Another standout is Baikars TB2, now the world's most exported drone, surpassing both Chinese and US counterparts. This drone has undergone extensive testing against Armenian forces and in Syria, successfully countering Russian air defense systems alongside Turkish electronic warfare systems such as Coral. Armed with precision munitions and equipped with a futuristic vision system, the TB-2 has been credited with numerous air defense, armor and artillery successes. However, the country has better and more lethal drones than the TB-2. Turkish Aerospace's Anker stands out as a larger and more capable drone compared to the TB-2. Meanwhile, the Aksunga drone is breaking new ground by specializing in anti-submarine warfare ASW missions. These advancements showcase Turkey's commitment to diversifying its drone capabilities for various strategic purposes. Turkey also owns Baikars Akinja, a drone that recently set an endurance record by flying at an impressive 11,580 meters for nearly 26 hours. Boasting a substantial payload capacity of 1,360 kilograms, the Akinja is not only a powerhouse in terms of endurance, but also stands out for deploying Turkish-developed Bozdogan and Goktogan beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles and within visual range air-to-air -air missiles. This drone significantly expands Turkey's air combat capabilities. Adding to its collection, Turkey also owns the Roketsan Alka Laser, a directed energy weapon designed to thwart unmanned aerial systems UAS. First deployed in Libya, this 50 kilowatt laser electromagnetic weapon boasts a destructive range of one kilometer with the impressive ability to disable drone swarms as far as four kilometers away. The Alka laser showcases Turkey's commitment to cutting-edge solutions for modern warfare challenges. Besides drones, what else is Turkey invested in? Turkey's venture into advanced military technology isn't limited to drones, extending into a diverse arsenal of cutting-edge systems. Turkey boasts multiple armed unmanned surface vehicles, or USVs, such as ULAC, RDO-9 and USV-11. These vehicles showcase a versatile range of capabilities, deploying in anti-submarine warfare, anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare and other roles. 
Armed with predominantly Turkish systems and Turkish surface-to-air missiles, these vehicles are swift and swarm-enabled, enhancing their strategic impact. Turkey also marked a significant milestone with the commissioning of its first domestically built amphibious assault ship, the formidable 232-meter TCG Anadolu. This monumental vessel, now Turkey's largest warship, ushers in a new era by expanding the nation's drone capabilities from land-based to naval operations. Designed to accommodate a diverse air wing, the TCG Anadolu will primarily feature armed drones, transitioning Turkey's aerial prowess to the maritime domain. The ship is configured to host a variety of aircraft, including helicopters and combat jets capable of executing short or vertical takeoffs. This strategic addition further solidifies Turkey's position as a force to be reckoned with on both land and sea. Crafted by a Turkish-Spanish consortium, the vessel, built at Istanbul's Sedef shipyard, draws inspiration from the design of the Spanish light aircraft carrier Juan Carlos I. With a crew capacity of 1,400 people, the TCG Anadolu stands as a comprehensive naval force, equipped not only to carry an air wing, but also combat vehicles and support units. The initial vision for the TCG Anadolu included equipping the ship with F-35B Lightning fighter jets, renowned for their ability to take off from short runways. However, this plan underwent a significant shift when the United States, considering Turkey's purchase of Russian S-400 defense systems in 2019, excluded the country from its F-35 program. This decision, impacting a NATO ally, prompted Turkey to pivot its strategy for the TCG Anadolu, transforming it into a formidable drone carrier. With this strategic shift, Turkey aims to outfit the carrier with a diverse array of unmanned aerial capabilities. The Bayraktar, TB3 and Kizil Elma combat drones, currently in production by Turkish defense firm Baykar, are poised to become integral components of the TCG Anadolu's air wing. Additionally, the carrier is slated to incorporate the Herjet light attack aircraft, currently under development by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Are there any other countries investing in producing war drones? The success in developing strategically important weapons technology is not limited to Turkey. Other countries like China, Iran and Pakistan have also successfully developed robust drone industries, producing high-end attack models. Even countries like South Africa, Poland and Belarus are actively working on drone development, showcasing a global shift in the landscape of defense technology. These nations, much like Turkey, demonstrate the capacity to master technologies that the United States and Israel traditionally dominated. The impact of drone proliferation is vividly evident on the battlefield, with at least 40 different types of drones from 12 countries actively utilized in conflicts such as Ukraine and Yemen according to a report by the peace organization PAX in September. This diverse range spans from small commercial models to large military drones, showcasing the global reach of unmanned aerial technology. Libya, often referred to as the world's largest drone war theater, is a testament to this phenomenon. The conflict in Libya features military drones sourced from various countries, including the Turkish Bayraktar TB2, the Chinese Wing Long, the Russian Orlan 10, the Yabon from the United Arab Emirates, the American Reaper, the Iranian Mohayer, the Israeli Orbiter, and numerous smaller commercial hobby models. PAX researcher Wim Zweinenberg underscores the significance of drones as a preferred instrument for countries unwilling to deploy soldiers, but still recognizing the necessity of using armed force. He expresses concern about the ease with which countries deploy these unmanned systems and warns that this is only the beginning. As more nations manufacture drones, their cost effectiveness will increase, leading to broader adoption. Globally, armed forces are investing in increasingly autonomous weapon systems, including autonomous drones and unmanned ground vehicles. The shared technology for civilian and military drone production is also facilitating rapid spread and ongoing development. As we conclude this exploration into the transformative role of drones in modern warfare, it's evident that these unmanned technologies are reshaping the very fabric of global conflicts. But what do you think? Do you think this change will become a problem one day? 
or is this a positive step towards enhancing security? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until our next exploration, stay informed and stay engaged.